Hello and welcome. I am Vicky. You are watching Vicky Engineer. This video is all about earthquake and how to make earthquake. Before going in detail, what is earthquake? You must have some idea about what is the earthing and how it works. If you don't know what is earthing and how it works, or what is the necessity of earthing, then I am giving the link in the card button so that you can have some knowledge in that or get clarified on what is earthing and how it works. So let's start how to make earth fit first. Basically, what is earth fit? Earth fit is a hole dig in the ground, inserted with copper or GI electrode and backfilled with some conductive components to bring down the red low bring down to the low resistivity and attain the high conductivity understand one more time earthing earth sorry earth pit is the hole taking the ground inserted with a copper or gi electrode and backfilled with some conductive materials so that to attain the low resistivity and high conductivity to bring down the extra current from the circuit to the ground next is what are the processes and what equipments do we need to make a hospital? First, we are going for conventional one. As we know, for the conventional one, there are many types of earthquakes, but out of them, we will go two, 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 two or three types of earthing, which are more commonly used and suitable for our purposes. First is coal earthing. What is coal earthing? Basically, we dig a hole of 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 with the depth of 10 to 12 feet in the ground. Then we go for a slow, low layer of sand on that. And next, we go for charcoal and sand. Again, a layer of sand, then charcoal and crystal sand. Again, a layer of sand, charcoal and crystal sand. At least you maintain four layers of that to attain. The good response or good performance from that earth pit. You always go for five, six as in unit, and maintain a layer minimum of uh, twenty. Uh, sorry, three inch to four inch height. Understand? Minimum four inch of charcoal, then four inch of crystal salt, three to four inch of crystal salt. Next, a layer of sand. Again, three to four inch of crystal salt. Sorry, charcoal, then crystal salt. Again, sand. Likewise, you at least maintain four layers, or you may go beyond that also for good performance. Next is pole type earthing. Basically, pole type earthing is that type of earth pit where we uh, insert that pole or earth electrode into the earth pit with a copper plate. With the copper plate welded with that or faced with that, and we insert that to the earth pit. What is the need of the copper plate with that electrode in that earth pit? First question. The reason behind that is the more is the conductive area, more is the surface area facing to the conductive materials in that, more will be the uh, conductivity, current conductivity. That's why we go for the uh, plate earthing. Basically, the whole fundamental is the low resistivity and high conductivity. For that, two things play a great role in that. First is high moisture containment in that earth pit and second uh, ultimately that goes for a low resistivity in that earth pit and the current flow in the flowing in that circuit will be much more high. Basically for the conductiveness we need high moisture containment in that area or in that pit. For that in some cases if after some years we are failing to attain that moisture containment at that point what will happen if we have inserted a pole with a hole in that a GI or copper pole inserted to the earth pit to the till the ground till the ground level of that pit if what happens if in some cases after some area after some time if we face some moisture low moisture containment in that area then we can pour the pour down the water if, uh, or with the funnel so that it can go it down and, uh, and maintains the moisture containment in that earth pit. Understand? Next is what is chemical earth pit? Basically, chemical earth pit is free from the conventional materials that is the charcoal and salt. 
What and what is the process of doing that? The process of doing that is for the chemical earthquake, we don't need a much more area of the, like uh, unconventional earthquake types. We need uh, 3 feet to 4 feet uh, length by width. Here we need here we need maximum of 3 to 4 inch in diameter and depth of uh, 10 to 12 feet. Basically, the depth of the pit depends on areas. But in the safer side, if you go for 10 to 12 feet, it uh, will be a very good for the performance issue. So, a uh, better I will go for a 10 to 12 feet uh, depth of uh, earth pit for in the chemical purposes. Next is what are the processes? First process is bore a hole or dig a hole at least 10 to 12 feet deep in the ground through any bore machine. Next is Put, uh, insert that uh, copper or GI electrode into that uh, earth pit or bore hole made in the ground or dig in the ground. Third, what we have to do, if we are going for a bentonite solution, then we will mix the bentonite with the water, pour that slurry into that to make it a solid one. If we are going for magnet in that situation, we will do three times of magnet and one times of cement and that will be mixed with a 1 liter of water if you don't know or have you know, don't having an idea about chemical earthquake and how to make it slurry and how it works I am giving the link in the card button you can go for our previous one and have some knowledge on that then we will make that slurry to go into that so that it will make an RCC like structure and it will be the more conductive one and it will have much more moisture containment and automatically that will attain the low resistivity and what are the advantages of uh, chemical earthquake the two more top advantages of uh, chemical earthquake is the resist it can attain the resistivity below to 3 to 0 0.003 ohm if we are going for bentonite in that case also we can bring down the resistivity of that earth pit to 3 ohm per meter if we are going for marconite instead of bentonite then in that case the earth resistivity again goes down to 0 0.003 ohm one more time repeat in marconite we can bring down the earth resistance below to 0 0.003 whereas in bentonite also we can bring it down to 3 ohm per meter next is uh, in some cases we use the graphite waste compound if you we are using the graphite waste compound then also we will go for, after inserting that uh, copper or GI electrode in many cases we call it a slope also uh, into the hole or dig in the ground hole dig in the ground after that we will pour that uh, graphite based uh, powder to the earth bit and we will, we will pour some water and make it a mix so that it the compactness maintained over that bit there should not be any hollowness in that bit if this is a, a electrode and this is the bit the uh, materials or backfill compounds we are pouring over there there should not be any hollowness that should be fit and compact in that to maintain at the more surface area with that much more conductivity and low resistivity <coughs> next is after pouring uh, down the slurry how to connect the top part with the earthing or uh, wire earthing strip, com strip coming from any home or any uh, project or anything the proper way of doing it is once you come up with the rod in that there should be a bus bar like structure, structure in top of that you have to do it the, with the uh, luck copper or gi luck they are coming in the market that will be the proper way to fix it down uh, with that and that will go to a earth terminal like we likewise we have mcb in a uh, mcb or mcb box in our, in our home or any project like there is a earth terminal box we call it a terminal box Basically, there is a uh, bus bar like structure. The incoming wire from the earth pit will be connected to that, and next holes will be connected with that wires or strips coming from that uh, project or any home or anything. So, that what will happen? 
if we are going for a wide scrape or we are bending the guide, twisting the guide and connecting, that may go okay, but in if in some cases, what will happen? Everything has an elasticity. Likewise, the copper or the GI we are going for, aluminum or GI we are going for, that also has an elasticity. In some cases, if there is sudden, suppose there is uh, the high current flows to crack, if it, it may break down over there, and that won't come to our uh, knowledge every time. At that, that time what will happen, we will think there is a thing but the, the earth thing will not be working over there. To avoid that, go in a safe practice, go by earth terminal box, it won't cost you much more high, it's a affordable one. It's a small terminal box. Basically, in the terminal box, suppose it's a bus bar like structure, there will be a hole and it's connected, it will be connected to the wire coming from that earth pit from the ground. And the next holes will be connected with the wires or strips coming from your home or for any project through a lug, L-U-G, lug. Mind, mind it, it's lug. If you are going to copper wire, then in the market the available of copper lug with various square uh, various sizes. If you are going for GI, then go for that lug, connect it over there. So I think we are done with the process of uh, earth pit, how to do a or how to make an earth pit. Go through the video. If you are having any doubt, pause and again and again check that so that uh, you can do it at earth pit without asking it to anybody. I have explained in such an idea, in such a way. Then also if you are having any doubt, let me know in the comment section so that I will love to help you on that. This is it for now. I am Vicky signing off. Bye bye. See you next.